Hi, I'm Samuel Harms, and I'm campaigning by the numbers. One million dollars. That's how much the taxpayer spent to bail out the South Carolina Republican Party last year. Last year, we were in a state of fiscal collapse. Chad Connolly was threatening that the South Carolina presidential preference primary may not take place unless the taxpayer sent us one million dollars. Now, aren't bailouts wrong for Solyndra? Aren't bailouts wrong for the fiscal institutions in the large banks? Well, if it's wrong for Solyndra and it's wrong for the banks to get taxpayer money, isn't it also wrong for the South Carolina Republican Party, a private organization, to have to rely on the taxpayers to survive? I opposed the government bailout of the party last year, and so did Nikki Haley. After the legislation passing the $1 million bailout passed, Nikki Haley vetoed the legislation. It was the right call, and I'd like to thank Governor Haley for vetoing the bailout of our party. But Chad Connolly then put on a full press, calling the legislators and again threatening that the party was going to close its doors if they did not give us the one million dollars. Ultimately, the party received the one million dollar government bailout of taxpayer funds. It's a difference between Chad Connolly and I. I'm Samuel Harms and I am asking for your vote for SCGOP Chairman. There ain't no doubt I love this.